All right, so today's video, it was originally gonna be something else, but, but while I was editing what was supposed to be today's video, the Subnautica 2 teaser trailer just dropped. So I had to watch it. I had to watch it. I'm not gonna watch it in this video, but I already watched it and I got some screenshots so I could talk about some key things that I wanted to talk about, you know, just in general, cause that really excited me. All right, so the first thing, first thing, hold on, let me find my, let me get my pictures in order. All right, so first thing I wanna talk about, this little screenshot right here is showing like the environment, the world that we're looking at. This junk looks beautiful, absolutely stunning. I mean, oh my goodness. It looks like we got like a, what is that, like a yellow? I said yellow, it looks like a pink peeper. I'm, I'm too excited right now, I'm way too excited for my own good. The Safe Shallows, if this is if this is like a little teaser of what the Safe Shallows could potentially look like, this junk look bustling with life. I mean, look at, all, we got all these plants all over the place. We got what looks like, um, like a coral reef type of thing going on. And I don't know what that is in the background, cause it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like a, um, like a under underwater ruins or something you know you know what i'm saying like that doesn't like a little archway like right in the middle am i, am I the only one who sees that or, or is that just me that might just be me i don't know but this this little environment right here it looks a1 excellent bro i'm loving i'm loving the way this looks so far even though i know it's a teaser trailer you know the game probably isn't gonna look exactly like this but still still it's gonna look something similar you know <laughs> it's a teaser trailer you know so yeah uh that's thing one that's thing one that i wanted to talk about this entire little environment i really 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 like the way this all looks i don't know specifically what kind of vibes we're gonna be going for like in the game like is it gonna be like a super super deep sea type of game is gonna be more of like a like a tropical theme thing i don't know i don't know but whatever they're cooking up right now <laughs> it's looking like something i'm gonna be smacking on when it come out all right that's that's the main that's thing number one i want to talk about thing number two so let's look at another picture oh okay yeah thing number two we got this big old creature right here this looks like it looks like um shoot what does this thing look like oh my gosh y'all know y'all know the freaking um if anybody's seen star wars y'all know those droids with the super big heads and the long legs and they got those like three, it can like rotate in a circle. It's got those three blasts. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's the first vibes I got. I know that's not what it is. It looks like a giant, like a giant crab, giant crustacean. They got Mr. Krabs up in Subnautica too, you know, and I'm I'm all here for it. Cause that thing looks monstrous. It could, it could move around sort of similar to how the sea treaders walk around, but this thing may be moving around like the entire map. Cause it is like a giant crab as opposed to the sea treaders are kind of like, they were kind of like restricted to one area to move around. This we may be able to see this moving around like the entire map which you know that that'd be pretty awesome or you know as it's showing in the trailer it may if you go near it or something it may be like hiding under the water under the water what <laughs> it may be hiding under the sand or something you go near it it may like rise up that could be lit too you know we can also see like just before just before that thing stands up whatever it is just before it stands up it looks like it's got like a whole bunch of like coral growth over the back of its body or head or whatever so it could also be you know, like that game's version of a reef back, you know, because we know the reef backs have like an entire, essentially an entire reef on their back. This thing has something similar. It's got like a giant little coral ecosystem sitting on its back, almost like it's its own shell. All right, so the other thing I wanted to talk about, a little bit smaller, but it was the, so there was a boy in the trailer. We saw, we saw a male character in the trailer. Obviously, there's probably going to be like one of the playable characters. And then we also saw a female character. So, what I'm thinking is there may be, because they said, I, I believe there's supposed to be multiplayer for Subnautica 2, right? These two may be two of the playable characters in the game, depending on, you know, whether you play the game single. Ooh, what did I just say? Whether you play the game single player or multiplayer, if you play the game multiplayer, you may have a choice between these two characters. And maybe whenever the full trailer comes out, we may see like three or four other characters in here. But, you know, I'm assuming these two are two of the potential playable characters since the game is supposed to be multiplayer. So that's what I was thinking when I first saw this. When I first saw these two characters show up in the in the trailer, I was like, okay. So we got character one, character two. I like the, I like the girl's hair. Her hair looks kind of cool, but her her jawline is kind of strong, ain't it? I mean, golly, look at that thing, bro. The crimson chin, ain't it? All right. So the last thing, we got this big old glowing thing, right? When I first saw this, the first thing I thought, I thought it was a big old zipper. I thought somebody was unzipping their jacket, about to show me their chest meat in the trailer. I was like, what am I about to look at? And then you move over to the next next frame, and then you got the freaking Kraken, we got Cthulhu in Subnautica 2. I'm 
type. It's all mess for that because we, I don't think there was a single, the only thing that we had resembling a giant squid and Subnautica 1 was the crab squid. And the crab squid, he was kind of cool, but he didn't like, he didn't have like super long tentacles or nothing like that. This looks like if y'all ever played Ark Survival, I don't know what that creature is. It's that giant squid that sits up in the water. That's, that's what I'm thinking is that, that this is going to be around that same size because this thing looks monstrous size is probably going to be one of the one of the major leviathans in the game and i'm really glad if it is if it is if it does turn out to be one of the major leviathans in the game i'm going to be really happy because it's going to be you know unlike anything we've ever seen before instead of it being like a regular old fish now we got like this giant squid like leviathan maybe he can use those tentacles to like i don't know grab your vehicle throw it around or something because this is this is going to be like a newer generation you know higher performing hardware so they may be able to do like the creatures in the game may be capable of more crazier feats you know like thrashing our vehicles around i said seamoth type creature what if there's a seamoth type vehicle in the game he may be able to he may be bleh, he may be able to just grab that with one of his arms and just throw it around or something you know that'd be that'd be kind of cool or throw it in his mouth you know whatever overall i'm you know i really i really like the teaser trailer you know i i <laughs> all the stuff in it it looked it looked lit it looked like it's about to be some heat they're setting they're setting a good little good little ground good little president for their overall game as long as they don't drop the ball when the game comes out you know if the teaser trailer teaser trailer got me hyped the next trailer comes out it can give me even more hype and when the game comes out if they can just deliver bro come on now because this stuff this stuff look fire we see two two giant creatures in a beautiful looking environment from this teaser trailer and then we got two new characters as well so that's also nice but let's be real we're all here for the creatures we're here for the we're here for the giant creatures we're here for the leviathans that's what we trying to see up in these trailers we trying to see what's about to eat us in the game i mean come on now <laughs> we want to know what the threats are but yeah that's about all i have for y'all i I just saw the treaser the treaser look that's how excited i am i'm just i'm just throwing my words all over the place i just saw the teaser trailer while i was editing this other video and this video is probably gonna go up today instead of the one that i was originally supposed to do because the te teaser trailer just got me so hyped out of nowhere because i just saw it it just popped up and i was like whoa i was like whoa <laughs> i gotta i gotta i gotta record the reaction to this i gotta i gotta do something bro i gotta speak on this because this thing will look fire you know but uh yeah other than that that is about all i had for y'all thank you all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i said i will see y'all uh, i can't speak i'll see y'all in the next one peace dang